So the main hypothesis that we've tested in a step half path trial was whether directly targeting obesity with semaglutide 2.4 milligrams once a week uh, will have a significant impact on symptoms, physical limitations, and exercise function uh, in patients that have heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and obesity. Uh, we know that uh, a large proportion of patients that have half path uh, are living with overweight and obesity. In the United States, it's close to 80% of patients. Um, and a growing body of literature suggests that obesity is not just a coexisting condition or comorbidity, but rather a um, root cause and potentially one of the key drivers, if not the key driver, of development and progression of half path. Uh, so the way we uh, organized the trial uh, is that we included patients that have uh, known diagnosis of half path, uh, symptomatic half path, uh, and a BMI of 30 and above, and those patients were randomized uh, to either semaglutide 2.4 milligrams once weekly or placebo and treated for 52 weeks. Uh, what did we find? Um, semaglutide significantly improved uh, symptoms and physical limitations um, uh, of heart failure uh, as measured by uh, KCCQ or Kansas City Cardiomyopathy Questionnaire Clinical Summary Score. It's a gold standard of assessing patient symptoms and physical limitations um, in heart failure. Uh, the treatment difference was nearly eight points uh, in KCCQ Clinical Summary Score in favor of semaglutide uh, with a highly significant p-value of less than 0.001. Uh, patients treated with semaglutide also lost more weight than those that received placebo. The treatment difference there was about 10.7% uh, of uh, body weight uh, loss or change in body weight um, at week 52 with semaglutide versus placebo. And in terms of secondary endpoints, uh, semaglutide uh, significantly improved six minute walking distance. It also significantly reduced inflammation and also had a favorable effect on a hierarchical composite outcome, which was uh, a really a composite of clinical events uh, such as uh, death and heart failure hospitalizations and urgent visits, as well as certain thresholds of change in KCCQ and six minute walking distance. A couple of other things that I think will be of interest. One is uh, semaglutide significantly reduced N terminal pro BNP or anti pro BNP as compared with placebo. Um, we did adjudicate heart failure hospitalizations and urgent visits. Step half path. Uh, was not powered for those events, and there were very few of those events in the trial, only 13. But out of 13, uh, 12 occurred in the placebo group and only one in the semaglutide group. Uh, so it was certainly a strong trend towards fewer clinical events uh, with semaglutide versus placebo. And semaglutide was also quite well tolerated. Uh, there were about half as many serious adverse events in patients that received semaglutide as compared to those that received placebo. So. Uh, I would say the best ways to summarize this is uh, in patients with uh, heart failure and preserved ejection fraction and obesity, semaglutide significantly improved symptoms, physical limitations, and exercise function, uh, as well as um, reduced inflammation and resulted in significant uh, uh, reduction in body weight as compared with placebo and was also well tolerated with fewer serious adverse events than placebo. Thank you. Growing body of literature uh, really points towards uh, obesity and visceral adiposity being the, um, uh, one of the strongest predictors of development and progression of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Uh, and that was, in fact, uh, the reason for our hypothesis that we tested in step half path. Uh, which is that directly targeting obesity will have uh, significant benefits in terms of heart failure endpoints, and that's exactly what we found. So it's a clear, uh, strong confirmation of that hypothesis. And so I think what we're looking forward to in the future is additional trials that will provide further information on targeting obesity as potential therapeutic strategy. Uh, in patients with half path. Uh, the uh, most uh, immediate of these trials uh, is step half path diabetes. So in the step half path trial, we looked at patients with half path and obesity uh, who did not have type 2 diabetes. We have a sister trial called step half path diabetes, 
uh, which is testing the same exact hypothesis and the structures in a very similar way, uh, with one exception is that uh, it's being done in patients with half path obesity and type 2 diabetes. And we're expecting to present the results of the trial, uh, hopefully in early 2024. There are also trials uh, going on with terzapatide, a GLP-1, GIP, dual agonist. Uh, and that trial is called Summit. Uh, it's also enrolling a similar patient population with half path and obesity, uh, both with and without type 2 diabetes. And we're hoping to see the result of that trial uh, sometime in the near future as well. But I think this is going to be a really vibrant field and uh, step half path results really open a, an entirely new avenue of um, uh, evaluating therapeutic interventions uh, that specifically target obesity as treatment and half path and that's incredibly exciting.